Hey you guys. Okay, so I'm so excited to be here to talk to you guys today. I'm just really enjoying, um, oh my gosh, I, I always enjoy doing videos, but I am so happy, just so happy that we can see each other and talk to each other, communicate with each other in this way. Y'all can see me, right? But um, yeah, in a lot of ways, I, I feel like even though I can't see you guys, this is just, it feels so good to me to share in this way now more than ever when we're not having a whole ton of interaction. Um, and I know how much I've enjoyed watching people that I love and you know TV shows that I like, listening to podcasts that I enjoy and things like that. So this, I, I've heard from so many of you guys, you know, it's you're enjoying YouTube more than ever, and so that just means so much to me. But I've been so excited to do this video. This has been a busy week, so I didn't get as many videos up, obviously, as I wanted. But I have so many good beauty things to share with you guys. Um, I'll link to everything that I'm wearing. If you didn't grab this dress, you guys, they still have this color available in all of the color, or all of the sizes. So good. The blue is gone. But um, obviously, I like the I like this color more, anyways. But it's just such a good dress. I'll link to this necklace, and um, I put on my hoop earrings for the first time in a while. So pretty excited about that. It made me feel good. I haven't done my eyebrows yet. Um, don't even know if you notice. I can def I can definitely notice. But a product that or two products that I've been enjoying. That's a part of this video. I thought you know what I'm gonna demo it. So um, if you are like super observant and you notice that my eyebrows aren't done, that's why. So um, yeah, today I, gosh, I want to talk about so many things and maybe like give, give a little updates at the beginning, but the main deal of this video, Sephora VIB sale is happening today and um, well, okay, Friday, right? Today is Thursday. I'm like filming this the day before, but when this is up, um, I'm going to, I probably would have already um, placed my order because obviously I can't order things today and I want to take part of the sale. Okay, you get it. But because of that... I want to show you guys what's in my cart, what I'm actually buying. I think that's really interesting, and I'm going to give you guys recs of things that I already have, some new things, some things that I'm like really enjoying extra now. I don't know what it is. I have found so many. I have so many things in my cart. Uh, maybe it'll give you guys some ideas, and then I can share with you guys some of the like tried and true things that I really do recommend. That's kind of how I am. Like, if I feel out of control, like I'll decorate or I'll do something at the old house like I must have been going through like a lot because I was like let me paint my cabinets twice and like do all this you know but, but we're not doing that you know here but you know just cleaning something out or just feeling like you have that control or like you know you can control what's going on within your home and make something look pretty or organize something and you that's I think that the purpose of any hobby or anything that you enjoy you should have those things in your life obviously that make you feel good that make you feel positive and uplifted and I just feel like now more than ever we got to find those moments and um, find those things. Something else that I've really enjoyed is taking the time to like take care of my skin and do a face mask or do you know use like my like tools that might take a long time or do something and um, if you're watching this then there's an aspect of that obviously you appreciate so you can do a face mask you could take 10 minutes at night to do something for yourself promise it'll make you feel better and I think now more than ever like put on your favorite lip gloss put on your favorite mascara whatever you don't have to get like dressed in the nines every day but it does matter within yourself like within your like feels you know what I mean to do something that makes yourself feel good and I think now more than you know it's not even about oh gosh we have nowhere to go why would you get ready I think now more than ever I've enjoyed my favorite mascaras my favorite lip products my favorite beauty things because that's it makes me feel good it's a little boost in the morning that now more than ever we need and just doing things that make me feel good at night from like you know skincare or masks or whatever let me start with the things that I have that I want to kind of like recommend and then I'll show you guys what's in my cart. Okay, something, if you didn't get this like micro needling tool, check it out, it's so good. And in my cart actually is um, the replacement headset. That has been a game changer. I love that so much. I use it every night if I can. It just makes your skin look plumper. It's like without getting fillers or anything, I don't know, it just makes this look better. It makes all of like, if you have little scars or little pit marks or anything it really really helps it helps fill that in with the collagen this is a nice little tool the derma flash that's not what this is called 
um, Dermapore. This is so good, and I said this in a video um, recently. Someone asked me on Instagram, I was saying like, you know, do things that make you happy, blah, 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 and they were like, well, what are those things? And I'm like, just watch any of my recent videos from this last month, I feel like I've showed you guys so many things that I like, from apps that make me feel good, to beauty things, to little things that are helping me pass the time, whatever. Just I'm kind of telling you guys, you know, things that I like. But um, this was one of them, and it's satisfying. And you get up, get up close, and like watch all the junk come out of your pores. And I mean, what's better than that, right? So things like that that are a little more expensive that you may want to get a discount on. That's good. I'm kind of like itching to do my brows, so we'll do that in a second. Um, something that oh my gosh, I'm really excited that they still have this this set. First of all, so at Christmas, um, in a video I showed you guys this Peter Thomas Roth mask set, and I think it came with like a few other ones too, and um, came with a whole bunch. I'll link to that. And the value on that already is pretty incredible. It's a good size too. I hate like giant masks because sometimes I'm like, mm, is that gonna go bad? And if they're too small, it's like, mm, how many? You can get a lot of uses out of these. But I ended up buying the kit for myself because I wanted to try some of these different ones. And um, there's a few masks that I've been using religiously. Okay, and this is a product that I'm also going to purchase because you can pretty much, I think, only get this at Sephora. The, um, Drunk Elephant TLC Sukari Baby Facial. It has 25% AHA, 2% BHA, and what it does is it just, it's, it's, it works to dissolve like skin cells, like gross stuff in your pores without physically like drying your skin. I, I don't like that. I like more of a product like this that just kind of like dissolves everything. I feel like it keeps my pores clear. You don't feel like you have those little hard, you know what I mean? Like it just, it really is, it's amazing. It's a miracle. I, it's such a miracle, like really good product. I use that sometimes like twice a week. You know, every night you don't want to use something so drying. So I've really been enjoying more like moisturizing ones. And this one is one that I've kind of gotten into too, but I love these green gel masks. I had one that was much more inexpensive that I had been using that I really liked. And then I wanted to use that up before I started this one. And um, I like this one. I don't want to say better or I, I don't know. They're both very good, but I love this one. The cucumber gel mask because it's called, it says extreme detox hydrator. And when you think about that, it's kind of like, that's everything I want. I want the hydration um, because I don't want to suck the life out of my skin, but I also want it to be like detoxifying. It's got really good ingredients and it makes my skin feel so good. So usually like the night after I use this or like if I do use something a little harsher or whatever, this is a good one. And then this is a good one too. Um, the Rose Stem Cell Bio Repair Mask. This one's very anti-aging and very hydrating as well. Um, so if you're going to buy them separately, I would say this is a cool one, but why not get that whole kit because now is the time that you want to like really I think try some new fun things and you don't want to use like the same exact mask every night do you know what I'm saying like I don't know like use a like I said use one that's a little like not harsh but a little more like detoxifying or clarifying and the next night use something really hydrating and um oh my gosh I love the way this one smells this pumpkin enzyme one this one is kind of I would say does a similar thing like this it has a lot of like AHAs and things. It's called a, a dermal, an enzymatic dermal resurfacer, which is basically, that's what it's doing. It's breaking down, you know, grin. And uh, yeah, alpha hydroxy acid, that's basically what that is. And then it polishes with aluminum oxide, helps reveal skin that's smoother, younger, radiant, all the good things, but it smells like real pumpkin. And it actually has little gritties in it. And then this one just makes you feel like a fancy match because it's gold. Um, and I don't use this one too much. I might use this one tonight. Pure 24 karat gold. It looks really pretty and fancy. Lifting, tightening, fancy lady. I do have a mask in my cart, which I'll talk about in a second. The mascara that I'm wearing today is this one, the Buxom Extrovert, which you can grab there as well. I've, it's something else, like I've been, I haven't bought a lot of beauty. This is like the first like anything that I'm gonna buy, obviously like, you know, I've got so many things and I've enjoyed my, you know, like I've showed you guys like my beauty closet and here's like all my stuff. I've really enjoyed going in there and like picking out different things to use and using all my body lotions and I'm really wanting to like get through a lot of good things, you know? I really enjoyed like breaking into some of these masks and things that I haven't used a whole lot. This also, I've really, speaking of Peter Thomas Roth, they're just like having a moment in this video right now. So, Speaking of using everything as well, I used up all of my Clinique moisturizers 
And I thought, you know what, I'm not gonna keep repurchasing that. I'm gonna use up the moisturizers that I have because I have some really good ones. This one, the Neutrogena um, Hydro Boost ones, I love those. So they kind of alternated between those, but this one I've really been enjoying. It's the Water Drench Cloud. Very good moisturizer. And I think in that mask set, you get a little one of these too. But if you're looking for a good moisturizer, very, very good. And speaking of Clinique, this is weird. So this is something that um, I just went into Ulta to pick up, mm, I don't know, like a couple months ago. I go through these so quickly. It's the SPF 20 Even Better Moisturizer. I use this every morning. And um, I got a little low on it. And a couple weeks ago, you know, when this was going, I thought, okay, you know, I want to make sure that I can get the skincare stuff I need. And, you know, of course, things are still shipping now and things are good. But I didn't know that. So I was like, okay, let me get some more of my Kate Somerville anti back. Let me get that. Um, that Natura Bissy like diamond retinol mask, you know, the, the overnight. It's kind of like I use it as like a hydrator or whatever. And it feels like a lotion. So I ordered these things that I'm like, okay, I don't want to be without these things. And um, this I could not find online anywhere. Like Sephora was sold out. Um, Nordstrom, it was out of stock. I put myself like on a restock notification thing on Sephora. And I did get an email saying that it was back. But then by the time I went to buy it, it was sold out again. So I bought this one instead, the Even Better Skin Tone Correcting Lotion SPF 20. And it seems like this is just targeted to more like normal to dry skin and this is more like combination oily to oily. I would say, I hate to say it, like I call myself combination, but I'm like very dry here and here and I'm oily and breakout prone here. It smells the same, it's a little thinner, uh, but it makes my skin feel good. So I think I might replace this from now on with this version in the pump, the, the lotion, okay? Because the other one is what? It's called moisturizer. Okay, I don't know, whatever. As far as brushes go, I said a while back, I kind of, okay, beauty blenders, I love. I think that there's very few things that compare. I think they make your foundation just look really good. I like that it's a kind of all-in-one thing, but then I just kind of, I don't know, for whatever reason, I was going to bust out my brushes. Well, here's the reason. I was like, I, I'm, I'm, I don't want to pay $20 every time I new, need a new beauty blender, so I got out some of my older brushes, and this has been one that I have really enjoyed, and I was telling my friend, I was like, you know, these Marc Jacobs brushes are real good, and I even, like, I got out my old big bronzer one, because especially, like, in the summer, I like to put a little, you know, bronzer here and there, and everywhere, but, um, Okay, the face brush, and this is so good for foundation. I've really been enjoying it. So I'll link to that and um, a few of those. Hopefully they still have that one. On my eyes, I'm wearing the, okay, this is probably one of my favorite liners of all time. The Charlotte Tilbury Barbarella Brown. That's what I have on today, and I just smudged it out with a Q-tip. Um, Barbarella Brown, okay, get that. And then um, if, you, listen, this is the best liquid liner I've ever tried. I really, really love it. The Tom Ford Eye Defining Pen has two different sides. And um, I mainly just use this side that has the longer, you know, tip that's a little like softer black. But then it's got this real like tiny precise end that's a, you know, harsher black. And I never use that side. And this has been, la this has lasted me a shameful amount of time. So I would say it's worth every penny. And I've still got this other end to go. And maybe I, sh I should mix it up, but I don't know, I just really like that one end. The end that has the gold band on it. So really liking that. And speaking of Tom Ford, okay, and eyeshadow, all that, okay, I've been just very simple with eyeshadow. I mean, I'm not wearing eyeshadow every day. Like, I mean, my makeup routine is so simple and quick anyways. I know I'm still gonna be posting my everyday, like, you know, just quick morning routine. But I like a, a cream, something I can dab on, a product that's in a stick, something easy peasy. If you haven't gotten any of the Eyes to Mesmerize by Charlotte Tilbury, get it. That's what I'm wearing today. And this is the shade Bet. Bet is very good. And Marie Antoinette is very good. But Bet, I think, is my favorite. A friend of mine is a fan of, like, Tom Ford stuff, like, makeup and stuff. She's always kind of, like, asking me about some things, Tom Ford, that, you know. And... She was gonna buy an eyeshadow the other day and I said, honestly, there was one that I used to love called Disco Dust and that's what this is. And I was like, they still have that. I was thinking this was like some limited edition thing. Um, it's not, they have it. This is the best Tom Ford eye quad. I can honestly say, that's what I, I use that today too. I put that over. Um, I dusted a little bit of this color, which is such a perfect crease color in my crease. And then I put this like pretty um, rosy. I just love that color. It's such a perfect color on my lid. And then a little bit of that, like, you know, you can use at your lash line on the corner. And then there's this pretty sparkly color that you can put on. This is the best quad um, disco, ooh, disco dust. I just, I love it. I've had so many 
I don't know, I hate to say that. I've had a lot of different Tom Ford eye quads and I've never fallen in love with any of them really. Like they're good, but I've never been like, oh, I love that. This one I really love. And sometimes like I said, if, if I feel like something isn't available anymore, I hate to use it and be like, guys, this is so great. You can't get it. So I'm really happy this is still available. This I would definitely check out. This is a product that I got a while back that I love. It's the Tatcha Kiss You Lip Mask. It's very like jelly and I ran out of my La Mer lip balm in the um, in the pot, and um, this is very sticky and jelly. So it will like it's it's very moisturizing. It's like on there, right? Like you're gonna have sticky lips when you put this on, but. It's a mask, right? It's not just like a regular lip balm. I've seen so many things that are called lip masks, but they just feel like lip balms. So I like this is, that this is a little something extra, right? Because it is a different product. It's a lip mask, so I like that it actually feels like a mask. Um, you can put a bunch on and then wipe it off like as you're doing a mask, which that's what I kind of like to do. Sometimes I do feel like it's a little too sticky to put on to go to bed, but I, if I do that, I just put on just a little bit, right? You can definitely shear it out. So the Tatcha is very good, and I have another Tatcha product in my cart that I want to buy. Okay, let's talk about the brows. Um, I need a mirror. Let me get my mirror over here. All right, this is a product that I tried recently. Oops, sorry, I'll move this when we're done. We'll just have to. Okay, the Urban Decay Inked Brow. Now, I use a very cheap eyeliner or eyebrow pencil all the time, but during, I'm not wasting my eyebrow pencil, busting it out every day. Um, I just use some eyebrow gel. I want to use something tinted. This is just my fave of all time. I just repurchased this so many times. It is the Hourglass Arch Brow Defining, Brow Volumizing Fiber Gel, and I use the Warm Brunette shade. It's soft, it's not slick, it doesn't dry like glue, but I love the brush. One end is precise and one end is fluffy, because you need that fluffy end, you know, a little bit. But I do have areas that need to be filled, right? I have a few that, you know. So that's where this comes in, and this is the Inked Brow by Urban Decay. So what I do first is I use my um, my Hourglass Arch. Color's nice, the product doesn't have like too harsh of a color, you know, but it doesn't, it's not like nothing. You see what I mean? It just kind of made them look smooth. But for me, I do kind of have to, I mean, I don't have to, most days I don't, but I'm just saying. Um, I want to fill in a little bit. That's what I like about this. This is almost like a tattoo or something. Like I've washed this off and I can still see it the next morning, which honestly I kind of like because I don't put it all over my brows. I just put it like right here where the hair doesn't grow so much, where I have this, um, whoa, I think I got a little excited. I have a scar on this brow too, and I'll use it to fill in the scar. But like right there, it just makes that look so much better and that was awful because usually I just do it in like one little sweep. See? You don't have to do all that with the brush. I just kind of messed up. And like if you have like a part that looks chunky or you want to just like barely get that little middle looking good. And it's so light because you want the middles to be lighter. But for me, my eyebrows are kind of all the same. I'm not like painting them on. They're just like there. But you use whatever's left and kind of just lightly go around or if you have like any empty spots. So if you want to really make that arch dark right there, that's what I like to do. The arch should be the darkest part of your brow right there. It really stays put. So the Urban Decay Inked Brow and I'm in the shade Neutral, Neutral Nana. Nana. Really quickly, a few like bath type things and I'll go through things in my cart. These I love. Love the way that they look sitting by my tub. I always have them by that thing with my soap in it. These are nice. I keep them sitting right next to that little jar. And um, it's the Way Chill Pills, okay? These are wonderful. They smell amazing. They look like little pills. I talked about them in a video recently. They smell, so it's a very like jasmine. Um, I think there's, there's CBD oil in it. It's just good. You can like, you half them, right? Like you, you just break it in half. I don't, I don't like to blow through the whole thing. You know what I mean? And I might buy another jar of these because I'm, I'm just, I really don't want to run out of them. I just really love them. So I might get some more of those. And um, this is something else that I've been using lately. We ran out of bubble bath, which that's something else that's in my cart. Um, Cause I, I, I'll bathe Olivia in here a lot. She likes to take a bath in here. We use the, is it the Pure Grace body wash or whatever, bubble bath? Okay, whatever. We haven't had it in a while. And I was like, well, I don't really have anything like nice to put in your bath, but this isn't really bubbles. It makes your skin feel so good. And especially like kids, you know, that get like a little dry skin or whatever. I really like the way her skin feels when she gets out of the tub with this. It's not like heavily scented. 
um, are real soapy. It's the Herbivore Coconut Coconut Milk Body Soak or Bath Soak. And um, I actually just, we just went through a whole jar of it. So I went into my closet and had one of these and I was like, yes, I was so excited that I had another one. So this is nice. Um, it just makes your, it truly makes your skin feel really good. It makes your water kind of look milky. It's really pretty. And then also this, by the, is that the same brand? Yeah. The Herbivore Jasmine Glowing Hydration Body Oil. This makes your skin look so beautiful. It makes your legs look so beautiful and shiny. But um, it smells so good. So, what is that? Oh, shut up. The Jasmine Body Oil. Okay. So, those are my recommendations. But, let me tell you what is in my cart. Okay. Okay, oh, speaking of herbivore, right when I open this. So herbivore has this, the herbivore prism. So herbivore, that same brand, has this mask, because now I'm like, okay, got all those masks, like why not just buy some more, right? But no, I'm trying to use, like I said, I'm really enjoying it. And I feel like my skin's looked better, I feel like I'm paying more attention to myself. So this, I feel though, is very similar to this. This has 25% AHA and 5% or 2% BHA. And this has 20% AHA, but 5% BHA. I think it kind of does the same thing, but I'm curious. I want to try that because I legit go through these. So I'm like, well, who cares? If I get both of them, I'll eventually use them. Um, I have another one of the La Mer lip balms in the pot because I love, I said, you know, I love that product. It was something that I thought, how flippin' dumb. Um, why would you spend that much on a lip balm? And then, and then a while back I got like a set that had this as a part of the set and I got hooked on it. And Olivia really likes it too. Okay, the Beauty Bio Bright Eyes Collagen Infused Brightening Silver, <laughs> Colloidal Silver Eye Mask. I will link to all of these things, okay? So just don't, don't worry. I will link to it, okay? So look below for all the links to my recs. But I liked, I liked, I liked all, everything it said. I liked it. I liked the whole dealie. Um, my beauty bio, you know, the roller replacement has got that. Um, this looked interesting. The pharmacy um, honey hydration mask. Honey is good for clarifying your skin. I think it has like, um, what's the word? Astringent power. And I, my, and I microbe, whatever. It's just, it, it's good for breakouts, right? Her people say before, like, if you have acne, just stick honey on there, whatever. And it's like, okay, I'm not going to go that far, but, you know, I'll use something else. Thank you. But I like this because also honey is really moisturizing, and I kind of like that idea of having both. And um, if you look, there's two different sizes. At first, it was like, oh, $56, like it's, which it's going to be on sale, you know, so you get 20% off that, which is good. But you can swap it to a 1.7 ounce, and it's a little cheaper. So I think that's what I'm going to go with. I'm going to try that because I don't want to, like, blow it out and, um, let me remove the bigger one. I wanted to try this. I remember I had this a long time ago, the Bobbi Brown, and I think it was this color, the pale pink. I just wanted a really pretty pink blush. I've got a liquid blush that I really like, some stick blushes, um, a few powder blushes, but the powder blushes that I have right now that I like are more of either like a coral or like a, like this is the Pillow Talk, the Charlotte Tilbury, which honestly, guys, if you haven't gotten this, I don't even know, like, this is a good one, okay? Like, I didn't buy blush for a long time, still haven't, because I'm like, I, I love this. I wear this all the time, or I have, like, a Chanel blush that I really like. So I try not to have too many things going, because um, blush lasts a while, and I don't want them to get old and, like, waste a whole bunch of them. But this one looks really good, and I don't have anything just like it. So the pale pink looked really nice. Okay, so that's, this is the bath, the bath, um, the bubble bath, the Philosophy Pure Grace. Now there's one called Grace, I think, that has like the black top. You can't even see it because the product is literally white, okay? But I like this one because it's white. It's got the white cap. It looks pretty in my bathroom. I don't like it when stuff like has like a weird black cap for no reason or whatever. But that, but okay, but this is a legit good product, okay? It's good. Do you remember when I used to love and swear by the Herborean um, was it CC cream? You know what I'm talking about. So, I'm a little afraid to go back to that because my skin's been really good for the last couple years. I really love just the Clinique Acne Solutions um, foundation. I think that it keeps my skin looking nice. It's a beautiful foundation. So I'm a little afraid to go back to that Herborean, but I always liked it. And I saw they have this. I don't know if this is new or what, but I've never seen this before. It's the Herborean um, Pen Complexion Corrector, and it um, comes in two different shades. Let me get the lighter one. I'm gonna try that. 
I got another self tanning mitt because of course you know you could get one on Amazon you could get one for like super cheap I've had them that actually fall apart like the foam and I use mine for a shameful amount of time so this one's $7.50 the Saint Tropez um, and then you know it should be fine I that's the one that I used to use okay this also is by that same brand the Junk Elephant that I love this one looks the same, but it has a blue cap, and it's called um, the Electrolyte Water Facial. And I'm like, okay, yeah, I need that. Sold. Okay. Sounds good. This, I need to, I think I need to, I think I need to, should I get rid of the honey mask? I need to get rid of something, because this is too much. I might get rid of that Herbivore Prism one, because I think it sounds too similar to this. What do you think? I don't know. Okay, the Herbivore Blue Tansy Clarifying Mask. I, I love a clarifying mask, but I don't want it to suck the life out of my skin and make it look dry or anything. I don't need any of that. This is clarifying. It says resurfacing clarity mask, and it almost looks like a little balm. You know what I mean? It doesn't look like a... See, like, she looks shiny putting it on. It doesn't look like a... Um, like a clay that's gonna suck the life out of your skin. This, I'm just a sucker, and it's real cute. It's the Moschino Toy 2 Perfume. I don't know if you can see that, but it's a little bear. It's gonna look real cute sitting in my closet. Um, I wanted to get a new concealer, because I used that Maybelline one, that Maybelline Under Eye, but I don't know, I'm like, let's, let's splurge on a concealer. Why not? I mean, what have we, what have we got to lose? The Armani Beauty Luminous Silk Concealer. Thought I'd try that. I like the Luminous Silk Foundation. This also looked really good. I don't know how to pronounce this. Aether Beauty, the Crystal Charged Cheek Palette has a um, really pretty looking highlighter. Real pretty looking. And two real pretty looking blushes. So I thought that was cute. And then, um, okay, this I'm actually really excited about. Okay, so the Gucci Mascara. I've tried all these like bougie brands of mascara, like when Louboutin came out with one, which was beautiful. But, you know, I'm not like repurchasing that because I think that's like 60 something dollars all the time. Um, you know, there's just been brands that have fancy mascaras. Gucci's kind of, I mean, it looks, looks interesting. And it's $35, which is expensive. But, you know, not so far off from like a Chanel mascara or something. So if it's, if it's good, um, hmm, that's pretty good. It's almost got five stars and it has over 400 reviews. So I will try that. But this, okay, God, I forgot I do have too many masks. This looked really good. Okay, don't have anything like this. Violet C Radiance Mask. I'm guessing it has vitamin C in it. It's purple. Oh, I like how she looks with that purple mask. Um, yeah, it's like anti-aging, two types of vitamin Cs, and AHAs from seven different fruits. Seven different, seven different fruits, I can't talk. And then I have one more of these in my cart. So, um, that is what is in there, and I'm, excited about all those things I feel like a lot of times but like I said when this happens I'll throw in like you know my oh I forgot to mention this like my face scrub or something you know this or something that I'm replenishing you know just like my boring skincare stuff my same old same old stuff but it is it's so fun to get a Sephora box or a box like with beauty stuff in it of things that you haven't tried and right now I feel like we're kind of stuck in a lot of ways and how fun to think like I've got something real fun to look forward to later you know what I mean at night put on a fun show get you a glass of wine like put on a face mask do what you gotta do you know what I mean and it's just so nice to look forward to and um yeah so I've really been enjoying that I have been enjoying like I said this all the beauty stuff and I really am so excited this time I think that was my point in this whole thing when I started all that earlier about like talking about how I usually just buy skincare stuff or boring stuff I am so excited about these things in my cart and trying these different masks and um different fun little makeup things like don't put on a full face of makeup every day I preach this I feel in every video but it's like, put on some blush that you like. It takes two seconds. Put on an eyeshadow that you use. Pop on some, put on your favorite mascara. It's like, n get that Gucci mascara and use it. Don't think, oh, but I'm not leaving the house. I'm not gonna waste it on myself. You are wasting it on yourself every day, whether you're going out or staying at home or doing whatever. The point is, it makes you feel good whether you're leaving the house in it or whether you're at home. Like, do, do it for yourself. It makes you feel good to look in the mirror and feel like you look good and not that you don't look good without makeup but it's like that's what we do here it's fun to talk about beauty it's fun to talk about things that make you look better 
and that make you happier or you know that are just fun to use and that make you feel good about yourself so check out some of these things I'm sure in the box below there's gonna be 3,000 links um, but I'll link to everything that I talked about have a good time shopping you guys and um, I will be back I've got some good things coming up like I said I've got some home stuff coming up um, the Q&A video will be coming up soon yeah so um I want to do my favorite, I talked about doing this a while back and I just, every time I think about doing this, I'm like, mm, I don't know, but I wanted to do like a favorite candles video and so many people are like, oh, that'd be fun. But then I'm like, is that too specific? Like, is it too kind of like, I don't know. I think it'll be really good though. Cause I've got some good recommendations. And again, that's something else I like to do every day. I light my candle in my kitchen. I light my candle up here. I do whatever, you know, it's just makes you feel good. Okay. All right. I'll let you guys go. So many fun things coming up. I feel like we never run out of stuff to talk about. I'm always here for you guys. Thank you for always being there for me. And it's just a good feeling knowing that we have this during this. And, um, again, I love you guys so much. And I will talk to you guys very, very soon. Bye, y'all.